It's the Battle of Pennsylvania, Eastern PA versus Western PA. It's not lunchtime. It's not dinner time. It's not even Vader time. It's Tebow time. For high school football players, making the Big 33 Classic is an ultimate goal. Sixers are hoping, trusting the process, it's going to finally pay off. The Hershey Bears now take on a rarely seen opponent. So can make his case for Rookie of the Year even stronger. In minor league baseball, you go everywhere. The City Islanders are looking to pick things up and make a push for the playoffs. And we Rowan Gardner and Wild Thing Ricky Vaughn will be proud of these Indians and Cubs teams. Eagles, they got a big trade today. The new postal vehicles are projected to be out on the road in 2018. It's the Battle of Pennsylvania, Eastern PA versus Western PA. Carson Wentz, Big Ben, Eagles, Steelers. Let's go to the link. Carson Wentz looking for his third win with the Eagles. Let's go to the second quarter. Carson Wentz tosses to Jordan Matthews for a touchdown. It's 10-0. Later in the second, Chris Boswell gets the Steelers on the board with a 40-yard field goal. It's now 10-3. On to the third. After avoiding defenders here, Carson Wentz is going to avoid some more defenders. Roll out, take it down. Darren Sproles goes down the sidelines. Look at him go. He's going to go 73 yards, extend the Eagles' lead. You can't stop this man. Then later in the third, Wendell Smallwood takes the handoff. He's going to go in for his first career touchdown. For the Eagles win 34 to 3. They haven't lost to the Steelers in Philly since 1965. Carson Wentz, he's been named the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Month. Lane Johnson, divisional rivals, Giants and the Redskins here. Last minute of the game, Eli Manning has his pass picked off by Sunu Cravens. That seals the deal for Washington as they celebrate down the 30-yard line. They win it 29-27. And Manny knows what he just did. Baltimore and Jacksonville, another game that ended with interception. Blake Boros has his pass tipped and then picked off by Zach Orr with seconds left in the game. Ravens beat the Jags 19-17. Sunday night game here. It's going to be Dallas and the Bears in the fourth quarter. Watch Ezekiel Elliott hurdle over the defender to get the first down. He likes what he just did. Then later in drive, Dak Prescott tosses to Des Bryant. He goes in for the score, extends their lead, 31-17. It's that time of year again. It's Tebow time. Tim Tebow hit a home run on his first pitch at a New York Mets Instructional League game. Watch him hit a 91-mile-an-hour fastball over the left field wall for a homer. Tebow Mania ran wild at home as Tebow celebrated with his new teammates. That's your look at sports. I'm Alan Kling. Coming off a Game 7 win against the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, the Hershey Bears now take on a rarely seen opponent in the Toronto Marlies. When the puck drops in Game 1, the Bears will see a familiar face on the opposing bench. That familiar face his former teammate, Connor Kark. Kark played 47 games with the Bears before being sent to the Marlies at the trade deadline. Even though Kark may be familiar with the Bears, head coach Troy Mann says he would not be changing his game plan. Like any defenseman, uh, when you put pressure on them and play physical and do the right things on them, it uh, doesn't matter if you're Connor Carrick, TJ Brennan, or uh, their 6th or 7th or 8th, they're going to turn some pucks over and, and have to make plays under pressure. And uh, that's what our, we're going to attempt to do here tomorrow night. Hershey and Toronto split the regular season series at one game apiece. Now the Bears need just four more wins to advance to the quarter cup finals. In Hershey at the Giants Center, I'm Alan Klang. CBS 21 News.